Maura Gask with Associate Superintendent for Lethbridge School Division and I have the pleasure of hosting the Student Forum for Wellness and Inclusion in Lethbridge School Division. Um, what is the day about? The day is about really harnessing student voice and, and using that voice hopefully to inform our decisions moving forward on how we can improve our schools and our system and really keep them student focused. Um, today has been really exciting. It's been energetic, the kids have been hungry and they've eaten lots of food and they've shared some really great ideas and insights around eight questions related to inclusion and wellness. Um, really looking forward to collating that information and using that so that we can be better informed moving forward. I think this will bring greater insight into our world that typically is ruled and governed by adults. We know our schools are primarily made up of students or young people and for us to hear those voices really does allow for us to ensure that we are covering what we need to cover and supporting who we need to support and ensuring that our programs are appropriate for our young people. The days have changed. What happened 20 years ago is not today and we see a very different student and we need to respond to that. Um, my name is Annabelle. I go to Chinook High School and I'm in grade 11. I think today is important because it gives people more of a kind of understanding from a student's perspective of what they kind of go through and what they think they need to make learning and kind of everyday school life better for them. What we kind of talked about this morning was the different kind of things and the different needs or wants for kind of school going forward. Some problems that have been kind of in school as well as the good parts of school as well, like the kind of different cultural differences as well as kind of how, for example, one of the questions were how our schools honor culture and the different things we could be doing to honor culture as well. Um, what we've been doing is kind of talking with different schools to kind of get more of a kind of understanding of what's needed or what's wanted at other schools as well as learn from other schools. My name is Dawson Schrag. I come from Victoria Park and some of the things we shared at the student forum were uh, club activities, uh, some stuff about the school prejudice and different things happening at the school. So we shared stuff about racism, bullying, and we also shared some good things about our school and what we could include in other schools about um, like a driver's ed program. There was also some uh, insights about how schools could be more culturally appropriate and include other cultures. It felt very like good to hear opinions and it being received very well as well. Uh, teachers and school division board members there uh, actually interacting and talking with us rather than just taking a survey and moving on. My name is Lily Campbell and I go to GS Lakey and I think what we're doing here is really important because it gives students a voice and it makes us feel like we can actually impact the school and what we're like learning and so this morning we've done some questions talking about how if how we feel about our school we've done some fun ones but it's kind of how we feel about our school and um, talking about if we feel like there's enough representation at our school which I think is very important because we need more representation at our schools and I think that with this we'll finally be able to achieve it. So hi my name is Mia I go to LCI um, and basically this morning there was a list of questions that I got yesterday and I got to review and we're just basically discussing ways that our school system can be improved um, and ways that it can be more inclusive and diverse and provide opportunities for students who may feel oppressed. Obviously it's extremely important because as much as it is sometimes hard for adults to accept, we are the, uh, we are the future of our nation and we are going to be the change that um, society needs slash wants. So what, what we're doing here is basically igniting that and providing a voice for students to make sure that they are heard and to make sure that they are seen. My name's Noor, uh, I go to LCI and I'm in grade 11. 
We kind of talked to other students from other schools uh, from different grades and uh, we discussed a few questions about um, what's happening in our schools and how to improve and basically people's experiences with the schools. I hope that we can gain a better understanding of kind of what students have to go through and what they want to change and um, implement that throughout the schools and kind of um, use their voices and listen to them. And yeah, I hope it provides better insight. I'm Charlie, I'm from LCI, and I came to this meeting not knowing really what it was about, but we did some really cool activities and we kind of got to know who's in our groups and everyone I noticed really quickly came from different, different places and everyone had, there was so much diversity in the building, which was really cool to see. And I think the big, um, what they're looking to accomplish is to see everyone's point of view on things. Because teachers don't really get the full picture, but students are actively like in the schools and they know what's happening. And I feel like to get our point of view on how and what things we want to see change personally, I think that's going to be a really big step in like how it shapes our school community. And I'm really excited to see what happens. So we've met with our students and we've heard and listened to the feedback that they have generated regarding um, quick questions we had where we did a plicker activity and eight questions that really involved deeper conversation with our wellness teams facilitating. Um, so really what we want to do now is take the feedback and the information that we've gathered. Some of it represented on this rendition that uh, local artist Eric Dick did from the event and we want to be sharing that information, the interests, the concerns, the ideas, the, the really great, rich conversation that occurred, and, and using it to inform our staff, our students, our community, and our parents, so that decisions that we make moving forward really do involve our, our primary resource, um, which is our students. And so really, as we move forward now, we're going to be collating a plan with the planning committee that it, were involved in this process so that we can really be thoughtful about a yearly plan, um, year one, year two, year three. And then as well, what are the quick things that we can really look at and respond to and incorporate into what we do in our schools? But then long term, how do we get to some of the really rich ideas that our students provided, knowing that it does take some time to make them come to fruition. So a tremendous day and a lot of great information that was gleaned from our kids and students. And, and now we're just moving forward and, and wanting to make sure that our students know that those ideas were heard and that we are going to respond uh, in a very thoughtful way.